Okay, we will conduct a clinical trial, adjuvant trial, the focusing on the luminal disease patient having the intermediate risk or high risk. The, we design a trial, the comparing endocrine treatment alone and the plus S1 oral 5-FU and continuously uh, treated before one year time, a Q3 week regimen. The, after the adjuvant chemotherapy or after neoadjuvant chemotherapy. After 1930 patients were enrolled the, in this trial, and the doctor got a very nice result. The hazard ratio was 0.63, and the favor for the, the sorry about the 0.63 is the good for the S1 treatment arm compared with the endocrine treatment alone. S1 is the biochemical modulation of three different agents. The core agent is a Tega4. Other two agents are increasing the efficacy of drug, the fiber fuel, and also decreasing the toxicity, particularly GI toxicity. It's a very nice formulation, and the, it is known to be active in metastatic the disease situation treatment. Yeah, the, it's uh, quite the, uh, the widely used in Japan. It's a broad the indication for multiple types of cancers. And it is also the approved to some other countries, uh, but still somehow limited. I think the, this is uh, just Japanese, the one country trial so that we need to study more the, in other countries as well. So the, the more or expansion would be needed, more expansion in the studies, in research works, etc., etc., more or, 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 uh, investigations are actually needed. We have seen the higher incidence in the bone marrow toxicity, particularly neutrophil or the count, and also the GI toxicity is the significantly higher in S1 arm. The, additionally, the, I would say the uh, pig, hyperpigmentation is also frequent. In the, it's about 50% of the patient. They experience the this detoxicity in S1. Um, but as an overall, quite manageable, and the safety profile is just as expected. We have incorporated the, to make a risk assessment, the, we have incorporated, one is clinical pathological, clinical staging, and the key 67 the labeling in the proliferation marker assessment and also the uh, oncotype DX testing is incorporated. But the, for oncotype DX testing, um, the quite limited number of the cases are measured by oncotype DX testing. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's uh, very unfortunate the incidence of the breast cancer is still increasing quite rapidly. Mm -hmm. It's so doubling, doubling for 50 years' time. That's the, we don't know why. Uh, but so the, I mean, the overall outcomes of the treatment, also the, it is improved. So the incidence is increasing, the mortality rate is somehow going down. That's the situation in Japan.